you for joining us. It's the NBA on 2K Sports. Along with Grant Hill and Brent Berry and our sideline reporter, Allie LaForce, this is Brian Anderson. Now Atlanta starting five. And for the Lakers, we're sure to see a terrific rebounding battle tonight, Brent. Neither team likes to give an inch on the glass. Yeah, when that happens, B.A., you know you're going to have a physical game. There's a lot of pride on the line, and guys are going to do that dirty work. This game might be won in the low post. Here we go. So the Lakers win the tip. Here's ABC. Elbow shot. Doesn't go, and he's 0 for 1 from the floor. Because of his quick reactions, he was able to stay with the opponent and contest the shot. Talk about versatility on offense a lot, but how about on defense? And he takes pride in making an impact down there. This is the baby hook. To the inside. And that's good. Number his three. first bucket of the game. And setting the tempo with an assertive move. Like, where was the defense on that play? Yeah, APB sent out to try to find out where the defense is. Inexcusable. Offline with a three. Well, the D doesn't seem to be too worried about him from three-point range, and he shows us why still. I expect him to make one of those. He's off on the layup. I don't think the defense does enough out there to bother him. I think that one's all on him. Just a flat-out miss. To the left side wing. Shot clock at six. And again, the Lakers, no good. For Atlanta, they've gone one for three so far. And when you talk about the Atlanta Hawks, Brent, their entire 22-23 season seemed to be a win-one-lose-one scenario. Yeah, a bit of a toss-up there, finishing 41-41. They made a coaching change, and with that comes a philosophical one, so you're making that adjustment. But the Hawks just never found their rhythm. You think with this offseason and retooling just a little bit that this team comes in composed with the goal in mind that they're going to be competitive this year and see if they can get beyond that first-round exit from last year. Get it back, and he dumps it down. Oh, 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 my. What a display of effort. That's his bread and butter, right? Chasing down the boards. Stick with fundamentals there. Shot goes up, box out, or he'll destroy you. Down low. Lays it up and in off the pretty assist. Such a critical part of how their offense is going to flow. Things are only working when he seems to be on the floor. The three. He can't get that one to fall. Man, that's his shot. But maybe he was too wide open. About three minutes gone in the first quarter. And another three for the Lakers. Defensively, have to stay connected to him on the perimeter. For Atlanta, they've gone two of six to open up this game. From the high post. Rebound by the Lakers. Almost too wide open there. That's like a warm-up jumper for him. And first quarter, we're about three and a half minutes in. And he banks in the layup. Starting to find his rhythm. He's cooking, and he knows it. Yeah, right now, I don't see any let-up. I think he's going to just keep putting his foot on that gas pedal tonight. Drops in the three. That's just a lapse right there. No matter what, somebody has to be there and get a hand up in the shooter's face. Well, if we want to talk about Derek White for a moment, he's become such an effective defender, Greg. Yeah, you know, B.A., he's got a great mix of awareness and ability. Just an exceptional quickness that allows him to be a disruptor at that end. Count that one. He's got five. This can make it so much easier for your teammate when you throw that lead pass that gets to him right on the money, whether that's on the run or in the shooting pocket. And the officials will call the illegal screen here. The screener was leaning a 
bit right there. His feet may not have been planted. Pretty obvious call by the officials. You gotta hold firm or you're gonna get a call. The Lakers making a switch here. Fires the three. Can't get it to drop. So disruptive defensively out beyond the arc. You gotta like how he hustled to guard out on the perimeter, definitely respecting the shooting. The and there's the whistle. The illegal screen is the call. Now into the lineup, your winner, number ten. For Atlanta, they've gone four of ten shooting the rock in this first quarter. About three seconds between the shot clock and the game clock. Good. This game is all even. Now that's the kind of passing right there that makes a difference. Not just in that possession, but maybe on your play for the entire game. With one on the clock. Oh, and the buzzer beater is good! Makes his selection just in time. Well done. It's almost like he's playing with a wristwatch there. He knew the time, he executed and at the end of one, a closely contested game so far. Lakers ahead, up two, and we'll be back with you shortly. Getting it going again here in the second quarter. Fairly close game so far. And from what we've seen from the Lakers, what's your take so far? They are looking engaged so far, especially on offense. Well, if they wanted to start well, this would be it. They seized momentum right away, and they just didn't let it go in that quarter. The Hawks trailing. Well, the Lakers hired Darvin Ham to be their head coach back in 2022. Grant, that proved to be a great move. I agree, B.A. I mean, Ham was an assistant for a decade in the league, earned his spot as the main guy, and Darwin was a really tough player, too. I mean, he went undrafted and won a title with the Pistons against the Lakers. And for Atlanta, controls the rebound and the putback. <laughs> this game has been like a seesaw. Both teams going back and forth at one another. Yeah, everybody trying to get away from one another, and the threads are keeping them close. This has been highly competitive. And for Los Angeles, the ball's knocked loose. And so it looks like it'll be Atlanta's ball. Atlanta ball. of room around him he's got five. Oh, another lead change six total in the first half and this is the battle we were hoping to see just over a minute gone here in the second quarter and it's rejected three on three nice dish and the layup goes down and that'll fire up your team. Great defensive play at one end and timeout, instant timeout. offense at the other. Timeout call, the Lakers. And with load management, some say it's the team's job at times to protect players from themselves. How Welcome different is that from what you play, Grant? You know, BA, it's very different. And I think teams now are smarter assessing load and risk All right, and man. looking Let's more at the long-term long big picture of their hit. players. Just about a minute and a half has passed here in the second quarter. Pulls it. And again, the Lakers, no good. The Hawks leading. Oh, misses the dunk. Second quarter of play with around two minutes gone so far. Oh! Target from range. And not Number where he earns his seven. money, that three-point shot. But he's a good shooter from that range if he's got space. Los Angeles foul. 
number 86. That's his second personal foul. First team foul. So it's Atlanta now. Fires for three. Gets the three number to 11. fall. 11 three. points in the game. Oh, you gotta love the back and forth. Showing real confidence at the arc. Yeah, both teams finding ways to the three-point line and trying to take advantage from distance. To the middle. Good on the bucket. And now it's a five-point Atlanta lead. And I love how he's pushing the tempo and creating for others. He does this game in and game out. Incredible. Nice to play with a point guard that takes pride in playmaking. It makes you move around just a little bit faster to get open spots. The Hawks have gotten five of their first six attempts to fall in the second. The baseline K. That shot is off. Los Angeles has gone three of four from distance in this game. There's a minute 45 left in the first half of this one. And the foul is called. He missed it. So he's got a couple of free throws coming this way. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for the Hawks. Well, they found a groove. And it's from distance. So knocking them down from the three-point land never hurts. Well, not only that, but you love how unselfish they've been to start this game. That's going to get all the guys in a great flow and feeling good. So moving that ball around and scoring off assists. A nice way to play. And a strong finish with two hands. Oh, yeah. That'll do it. Wow, an emphatic two-handed slam. And for the past few seasons, the Hawks have been driven by their offense, Brent. And they really have done a nice job of finding some wing scoring to complement what it is they've gotten from the guard position. And they put an emphasis on the three-point line. They made a coaching change, and that philosophy is also helping lead them to be a more potent offense night after night. Willing passers, unselfish play. You have to appreciate this kind of offense. Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over. How about Sadiq Bey, a guy who's growing into a floor spacing threat now, Brent? Yeah, incredibly focused BA on developing those skills to be a sniper in the three point line. He wants to stretch the floor out, and he has to do that consistently by knocking down shots. There's 57 seconds left in the first half. on the shot clock and the Lakers hit again from deep Number one. defensively you can't afford to get stuck on the pick that's one that the coaches will watch tomorrow with that player you hate to see him give up in that situation there's the triple Go for him. Now 0 for 2. Great job of closing the space and getting a hand up. Yeah, as good as you can do without getting a block there to defend. Three-pointer. That one doesn't drop. And so a close game as we wrap up the first half of play. Hawks on top. Up four. And we'll step away briefly, but get you right back out there for the start of the third quarter. Right after the break. Man. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey again, everybody. I'm Ernie Johnson. Shaq is here. Kenny's here. We're watching the NBA Halftime Show on 2K Sports. A competitive matchup for Atlanta in the first quarter. They trailed by as many as six points in the first period. They had a very good second quarter, currently holding a four-point advantage at halftime. Kenny, let's start with you. What do you think about it? And it's just about time now for the third. And after a fairly even first couple of quarters, this second half could turn out to be a great one. As both teams trying to gain an edge. Atlanta's got four of seven threes to go so far in this game. And Atlanta, looking at who they've got. The three ball. That is ABC with a rebound. The Lakers trail. Oh, a 
clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. Or the defense there doing whatever they can to protect the rim. At the line. He's perfect from the line this time. So it's Atlanta now. Six to shoot. Nails it from three. Ten points for him. That's pretty much not how they would defend the three-point line. Somebody's got to shadow him out there. Out to the right wing. Connects on the 17-footer. ABC's got eight points. And despite the defender's length, he goes right up from the mid-range. I don't think he sees any kind of defense when he's at that range. It doesn't matter who's guarding him. He hits it just before the shot clock expires. And Atlanta leads by five. Just over one and a half minutes have passed in the third quarter. Fires from deep. Sinks it from distance. ABC's got five points in the quarter. Of all the action happening there, it's the assist that jumps out to me there. That's just a great look and a great setup for the bucket. Fires in the triple. And both teams running long-range plays that are working. Well, both of them looking towards the three-point line. And I like to see that, especially when the results are made buckets. And there's the lob. Stolen away. Nice job to interrupt the alley-oop attempt. Banked it in off the glass. And now a seven-point Hawks lead. That's the kind of pass you want there. Work the ball around, keep it moving, try to get an assist on every bucket. Now we're into the third quarter. Just over two and a half minutes played. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. He's got six. Assertive move. You can tell the game's heating up a bit. Two minutes remaining in the third. Let's the three minutes. fly. And the Hawks three with minutes. another three. three That's just incredible. I mean, he's really making it rain out there, knocking them down one after another. Kind of like he's in his living room right now. He's in the comfort zone. Once he gets that, the defense knows they're in trouble. Some sick ball skills displayed right there. And he's not the guy you expect to pull that off. Rebounded by the Lakers. Just over three and a half minutes through the third. Releases. Wasted no time with that shot, but it's off the mark. Let's it go from deep. No good that time. Yeah, and the defense has really got to tighten up on him. I mean, he's just too dangerous from the three point line. Good work there as it goes. Now just a four point Hawks lead. And that's exactly how you attack Link. I love how he doesn't lack assertiveness. Yeah, hard to stop it there if you're the big man. That's just too good a shot and great concentration. On target from about 13 feet. And Atlanta leads by six. <laughs> good work getting free of the defense and finding his shot. to get the rebound and get it back up. Atlanta's gotten seven of 12 three-point attempts to fall. Oh. 
Shoots it from the high post. That shot missing. The third quarter comes to a close. So walks on top. They're up by four. And time to step away quickly, but we'll be back in no time with the start of the fourth quarter. And now we have a moment to reveal our State Farm assist of the game. And he definitely deserves the award. Reading the defense like a point guard. So helpful to the offensive versatility when your bigs can create, freeing everybody up, and that cut was wide open. Three tense quarters behind us. One more to go. Thanks for being with us as we get ready for the fourth. Atlanta with a rebound. On the floor for Atlanta. Lays it up and banks it in. Just a much smaller defender on him. He does the exact thing at the right moment. Goes straight to the rim. That's the lesson for the team there. That's a hustle play to save points. Knocked away. And out of bounds. Out of bounds. Los Angeles will have it. Lakers ball. Time called here. Los, Los Angeles, Angeles decides to talk it over. knows they're losing the three battle and he told the team we need to limit their outside looks force them to put it on the floor and make them beat us off the dribble back to you brian good job there Allie. thanks oh, a rebound by the hawks to extend the lead to double digits, but it's no good. Los Angeles has got five of seven threes to drop here tonight. The Lakers with another miss. The Hawks have gotten half of their attempts to fall in the fourth. Two for four now. And he was fouled in the act of shooting. An opportunity for a three-point play here. It's just executing at a high level. I mean, taking what the defense allows and putting in the work. Basketball IQ is something that gets talked about, but it's importance to a team showing up here, running plays that turn into school. You could just see how in sync they were there. That's what it takes to pull that off. Floats one up, and the shot goes down. Well, if you came here looking for a scoring battle, I think you made the right choice. Yeah, both of these teams locked in on the offensive end. Going to be a high-scoring affair tonight. No good from outside. The Hawks have gotten four shots out of six attempts to drop so far in the fourth. To the inside. Fires the three. And that one's off. His fifth miss in 11 tries. Good that 
time. Atlanta's gone 7 of 13 from downtown so far in this game. We played just over three and a half minutes now in the fourth quarter. Left block shot on the way. That one off the back iron and out. That's pretty much the only way to keep him from taking advantage of you down low. You've got to play tough physical defense. Atlanta is shooting 55% for the game so far. And this is a game they can build off of. They kept their focus all game long, and it will get marked as a win for the Hawks. The coaching staff has to be happy with the way they've limited their turnovers here. Yeah, B.A., that's hashtag facts. Just tremendous patience and self-control. And they came in here with some attitude, and they brought out their best play. Yeah, it looks like a veteran team tonight getting out on the road, playing with assertiveness, confidence, fully in control for this win. Oh, got that Number bucket 11. in no time at all. Assist and Atlanta leads by 14. Showing us that killer instinct right now. No letting the foot off the gas for them. Yeah, up until that point, a competitive game, but once they broke through that barrier, it was all them. Complete control. Soft interior D, and they've exploited it. Fires it. And the Hawks tack on two more. 17 seconds left in the fourth quarter here. On the take. And even after two offensive rebounds, they just can't take the lid off. And so it's Atlanta easily grabbing this one. That's they the have to feel good about this performance. It's one they can be proud of. Thank Very true. I mean, when you're out on the road, the winds can feel a little sweeter. This one has to feel extra special. And that about wraps it up. For Brent Berry, Allie LaForce, and Grant Hill, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for tuning in. We'll see you next time.